How's it going people? It is the Hoff here and as you see today we have finally got in the Epson XP8500 which is a small in one photo printer. So this isn't a normal printer in the fact that you're going to print all your everyday items if you have essays for college, schools, or anything you type up like that. This is primarily as you see down here for photos. They said there's templates on here for you to print calendars and other things. So before we get into this, I just want to say thank you to Prelaunch Inc. Prelaunch Labs Inc., which I will be posting their Twitter account in the description below and say thank you to Epson as Epson makes the printer. Prelaunch is the company that does the beta test review for Epson and sends them out and things have been working great dealing with them with the laugh printer i have which is still going strong behind me and i'll show that one off in just a little bit and then with this one and they've contacted me with other items but i didn't have the necessary hardware to do that so i couldn't opt into that but let's jump into this one so i didn't open this one the only thing i did was i cut it so i wouldn't have to mess with just one hand seeing how I'm doing this with my phone. But before we hop into it, let's look around the box. So as you see, it says you have the XP8500, you have the disc and a booklet, and then you have your power cable. Now to remember with this one, it is wireless printing, but if you do not have wireless capabilities, fear not, you can still use this, but you're gonna need to pick up the USB cable you will need to pick up any extra cartridges for when the test cartridges or the shipping cartridge, whatever you want to call them, inside here run out, which they don't give you a lot of ink, so they will run out fairly quick. And that, you will see, will cost you a bit, but they have two sets, and here is... The different kinds you can get the color options of these five colors and there's your black and it shows you the amount of pages you will get for the 312 or the 312 xl and then that just goes over the replacement cartridges and then over here you see the speed of them and then down here it says it's six color inks deliver the smooth uh, so basically you're going to get the smooth gradation and amazing skin tones. It is a, supposed to be a really nice printer at the value. The cost of this is going to be 250 which I will link the website below for Epson where you can buy this. This is PC free, meaning that you should be able to, as it shows down here, be able to use a tablet, whether it be the iPad or Android, using an iPhone or an Android cell phone, and print over Wi-Fi. It shows here the quality four by six photos as fast as 10 seconds. So to me, that's pretty darn fast when it comes to printing high quality photos and it has a built-in card slot so it will show and read off your photos so this just goes over the same this will show the camera and it tells you again reminding you the memory card and the camera are not included and then it says the pages per minute and it talks about the easy connecting the individual individual ink cartridges you'll need, the Wi-Fi Direct that you can do, and how hassle-free this is, and then the back is more of the same, and then on the other side are the dimensions, and then my shipping information. So without further ado, let us jump into it. So it says for this we shall need two hands, and it says to pull off the two side pieces right here. So 
Here we have what looks to be an ink cartridge on this side, as well as the power cable on that side. And the ink cartridges look like they could be colorized. Let's clarify on this one. Yes, so the ink cartridges, as you see here, show the color. So you should easily be able to match up the current ink and where it needs to go. Here again says for quick disposable use, you could store the ink caps in plastic bags just in case you should need them later. That is good to know. And then there you see are the rest of the ink cartridges and we will get to that in a moment when the time comes. So here we have the printer and wow, this thing is not light. And then inside the box, we have the disc and we have the start here guide and they gave you a sample media pack. So it contains five sheets of each type of paper for use with the Epson Stylus Photo Inkjet printers. Which is really nice considering I did buy the specialty paper for photos from the store. And I have that pack right up here of the Epson photo glossy paper for printing and it's uh, 8 by 5 by 11 so we shall open that up after we go over the start guide first let's get into the start guide because the instructions are very very important Sometimes if you miss a step, then you are considered SOL in your setup and would have to sometimes redo it. Even though I'm fairly confident, I wouldn't miss any steps. Let's look this over to make sure we get it right. So first thing I see is it's multiple languages. I only speak and read English, so we shall do the English version. So it says right here, do not open up the ink cartridges until they're ready to be installed. Too easy, I wouldn't do that anyways. Remove all the protective materials from the product, which are the blue tabs. Lift up the scanner, there are more blue tabs. Lower the scanner unit. Connect the power cord to the back of the printer and to the electrical outlet. Turn on the product. Install ink cartridges into the unit by lifting up the entire scanner unit. Do not touch the flat white cables or the printer head, of course not. Unpackage. Do not shake the ink cartridges. Put away the ink cartridges in the bag, snap them into place until it clicks, lower the unit, and the printer starts charging the ink, which takes approximately 10 minutes, and you shall see the message on the printer's LCD screen, charging is complete. Then you just simply follow the on-screen instructions, and you can pull out the paper cassette if wanted and it will guide out to catch the paper. So it all looks pretty much straightforward and you can lower and move the display. So without further ado, let's take a look at this lovely piece of hardware here take off the plastic wrap of protection 
and I always like to put everything back in the box and hold on to that until I am done. Then I will hold the box for a while just to make sure there's no warranty issues and I will put the material off to the side and after I've deemed there's no warranty issues after the warranty time period, I will dispose of said box to make everything clean in my house. I do not need 50 million boxes lying around my house from all of my tech items that I get. And wow, because of all of the different slots you have here, as you see, there are a ton of these blue tabs. So make sure that you pull them all because one missed tab could be the difference between this properly printing and this not printing at all. So as you see here, this tab needs to be pulled for the cartridge that slides out with ease and it is great because I need to pull off this tab. And then we have this tab and that might be it for the outside tabs. And I can roll the tray right back in. Okay, so the tray rolls out fairly easy as I can see. Let me flip this up on its side and show you the bottom. And now that I have that open, I can pull these tabs. So these tabs are what you definitely need to make sure you pull as it shall not print if you do not pull these tabs. So I'll set that to the side and then I will pull this tab and set it to the side. And while we're at it, let's take a look on the inside. So as you see here, you have the side colors for where your ink goes. They're all labeled with the color coding and the actual color abbreviations. There's plenty of spots for a serial number, but there's one here and there's one on the bottom. There is instructions down here to let you know how to put in your ink cartridge, making sure that you dispose of them in the bag properly when you are done with the clip and showing you all the different steps you need to take. And there's even the action down there showing you waiting for it to have the click sound. And then when you're done, meaning there's no more ink, you could put the top on the old one and that's the purpose of saving it and you can dispose of it properly. So what I'm going to do is I am going to stop this right here and I am going to open up each ink cartridge to the point where I can just hold them outside of the wrapper and then we will start back up right there where I'm putting each ink cartridge in. Okay, so here's where I've already installed them. I'm gonna show you how to install them yourself. So the first thing you wanna do is there's gonna be the clip. You take the clip off, it will look like this once you take the clip off. And then what you will end up doing is you will put it in from the back and then you will push where it says push and you'll hear that click. When you need to go ahead and exchange them, you pop it out, take it off, you put the clip back on it 
and you put it in your disposable bag that you're gonna use and you dispose of them properly because they still may have a little bit of residue of ink in it. And then you put the new one back just the same way. They're all just as easy. Each one of them. Very simple. And then when you're done, close the lid and you turn the power back on. And if you notice down here, you'll see there's the SD card slot and the tray is right there and there is USB right there. So that will do it for the overview and let's jump into the printing process. And we're back. So all should be plugged in. Yep. And now it is going to go over a lengthy setup process. So, oh, okay, there. I was waiting for it to focus. We want English. This is, of course, touch screen. And I'm trying to get you all the best camera angles, which is why I'm doing this one handed to make sure that you all see everything that I see. And this process is going to take what they claim up to 10 minutes while it goes through the ink and prepares the ink cartridges. So I will stop this here in a minute. But the first thing I wanna do is I do wanna let you know that this is one of the first in the US to be shipped out so thank you guys for that and i want to say thank you guys for watching up until this point and stay tuned because it's going to take about 10 minutes and as you can see it says it here initializing don't turn off and it's going to be 10 minutes so when it is complete i will get back to you guys okay so the initial part was done for the initial initialization now we're going to do the adjustments. So, uh, align the paper to the brass print quality. We want to do that now. And we want to print now. So, we need regular print paper, which I have a sheet ready to go right here. And it is printing. Oh, that's nice. The bottom tray comes out on its own. It grabs the paper easily. Okay, so it says the paper is out. So I wasn't sure how many it would need, so I only did one. Done. Okay, so it looks like it is printing. Okay, so it says check the printed pattern and select the closer result. So 
the closer result would be the circle. I see nothing out of the ordinary here. And align print position to fix misalignment banding. So it wants to do the vertical alignment. So we shall load up the paper in it again. And we will this time try to do the alignment. And it's just feeding them through for now. Oh, there we go. So again, this paper is just sitting around. It's not the printer causing the sides to look like that on the paper. Don't worry about that. This is me just trying to get the alignment right for the printer purpose. And then once all of this is set up, I will finalize this by doing one photo of my favorite car I hope to get soon of a GTR. We will go over how it looks and I will show you guys, give my feedback and then we will end it right there. So let's look at this. So choose to square with the fewest streaks. So number one it wants to know the square with the fewest streaks and in my opinion that is three so go down and proceed so it's asking for row two and you look at them and to me four so as you see, proceed, then same thing we're going to do for all of them. And for this one, it is three, four, four, it is three, five, We could do three or four. Let's just go with three again. Four, six, three actually showing some streaks. So we'll go with four. And for the final one, we are looking at three for number seven. So proceed. And it is now saying horizontal alignment. So I will grab better sheets of paper for this one. And load this bad boy up. So finalize the alignment. And it is printing and we'll see how this goes. Now granted, you may say this is one lengthy process, 
but this is necessary to make sure that you are getting the best quality photos you can possibly get. Now, one thing I've noticed is it is grabbing all the sheets. So we'll do next, next, done. So I will let them up one at a time. Granted, you're kind of printing one out at a time anyway. Okay. And now we are getting it to finally print and we will go over what it says once it is done. As you see, it's spinning and it is printing. And what it wants to, us to do now is it's asking choose the rectangulars that are not separated or do not overlap. So we want the ones that are separated or they do not overlap. Actually, they all look good to me. So things that they all look the same, we are just going to proceed. Your head alignment complete. You can adjust in the maintenance section. So that is pretty much it. We are done with all the necessary adjustments. And now we can actually get into setting up. And for this purpose, I have set up a guest Wi-Fi account. So I can use my guest Wi-Fi and nobody will be none the wiser. So first it's gonna search for your network. It does not take long to figure that one out. And then it will ask for your password. When you are done entering your password, it will work on connecting to your network as you see here. Wi-Fi is complete. And already there is a firmware update. So we can register this, remind me later, and Wi-Fi is complete. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop this. I'm going to set up on the computer the drivers. It is a wizard, it is fairly easy. But if you need assistance, please hit me down in the comments below and I will assist you. But when I return, in just a second, we will start the printing process. And we're back. So all should be plugged in. Yep. And now it is going to go over a lengthy setup process. So, oh, okay, there. I was waiting for it to focus. We want English. This is, of course, touch screen. And I'm trying to get you all the best camera angles, which is why I'm doing this one-handed. To make sure that you all see everything that I see. And this process is going to take what they claim up to 10 minutes while it goes through the ink and prepares the ink cartridges. So I will stop this here in a minute. But the first thing I want to do is I do want to let you know that this is one of the first in the U.S. to be shipped out. So thank you guys for that. And I want to say thank you guys for watching up until this point. And stay tuned because 
it's going to take about 10 minutes and as you can see it says it here initializing don't turn off and it's going to be 10 minutes so when it is complete i will get back to you guys okay so the initial part was done for the initial initialization now we're going to do the adjustments so uh, align the paper to the breast print quality we want to do that now and we want to print now so we need regular print paper which i have a sheet ready to go right here and it is printing oh that's nice the bottom tray comes out on its own it grabs the paper easily Okay, so it says the paper is out. So I wasn't sure how many it would need, so I only did one. Done. Okay, so it looks like it is printing. Okay, so it says check the printed pattern and select the closer result. So the closer result would be the circle. I see nothing out of the ordinary here. And align print position to fix misalignment banding. So it wants to do the vertical alignment. So we shall load up the paper in it again and we will this time try to do the alignment. And it's just feeding them through for now. Oh, there we go. So again, this paper is just sitting around. It's not the printer causing the sides to look like that on the paper. 
don't worry about that. This is me just trying to get the alignment right for the printer purpose. And then once all of this is set up, I will finalize this by doing one photo of my favorite car I hope to get soon of a GTR. We will go over how it looks and I will show you guys, give my feedback and then we will end it right there. So let's look at this. So choose to square with the fewest streaks. So number one, it wants to know the square with the fewest streaks. And in my opinion, that is three. So go down and proceed. So it's asking for row two and you look at them and To me, four. So as you see, proceed. Then same thing we are going to do for all of them. And for this one, it is three. For four, it is three. Five. We could do three or four. Let's just go with three again. Four, six, three actually showing some streaks. So we'll go with four. And for the final one, we are looking at three for number seven. So proceed. And it is now saying horizontal alignment. So I will grab better sheets of paper for this one. And load this bad boy up. So finalize the alignment. And it is printing and we'll see how this goes now granted you may say this is one lengthy process but this is necessary to make sure that you are getting the best quality photos you can possibly get now one thing I've noticed is it is grabbing all the sheets so we'll do next next done so I will load them up one at a time granted you're kind of printing one out at a time anyway okay and now we are getting it to finally print and we will go over what it says once it is done as you see it's a spinning and it is printing and what it wants to us to do now is it's asking choose the rectangulars that are not separated or do not overlap. So we want the ones that are separated or they do not overlap. Actually, they all look good to me. So Things that they all look the same, we are just going to proceed. Your head alignment complete. You can adjust in the maintenance section. So that is pretty much it. We are done with all the necessary adjustments. And now we can actually get into setting up. And for this purpose, I have set up a guest Wi-Fi account. So I can use my guest Wi-Fi and nobody will be none the wiser. So first it's gonna search for your network. It 
it does not take long to figure that one out. And then it will ask for your password. When you are done entering your password, it will work on connecting to your network as you see here. Wi-Fi is complete. And already there is a firmware update, so we can register this, remind me later, and Wi-Fi is complete. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop this. I'm going to set up on the computer the drivers. It is a wizard. It is fairly easy. But if you need assistance, please hit me down in the comments below, and I will assist you. But when I return, in just a second, we will start the printing process. So what I did here is I'm telling it to print. And as you see, the tray comes out when you say print. And then I have it set up. And let's see if we can get the screen to register. It says printing. And it registers to paper. And then here we go. Now this is supposed to be a pretty fast printer and uh, I, I validated on their site now that they're giving a instant rebate that's not gonna be for very long. So if you want it, go ahead and look up now before time runs out. But let's go ahead and analyze the quality of this. So right off the bat, for a household printer, this looks pretty darn good. There are a few lines I'm seeing right there, and I may have to calibrate it better on that aspect. But that can also be from the photo itself. So I will test more photos, but this looks pretty darn good for printing at home, and that took less than 10 seconds to print. Okay, people, so there you have it. When you're done, you hit close, it tells you you're done. This right here is, of course, the Epson XP8500. It is one of the first, uh, as far as I know, in the US. And I am glad and thankful to be bringing it all to you as one of the first people on the internet and what I will be doing now is this will be sitting up here I'll be printing more photos going over it and sending my review in to the Epson website as this was given to me for beta test review purpose to keep and review so I will do as such and during my time frame of doing that I will eventually upload my thoughts on it but as of now I think it is perfect for the home use of the average person and again it is a $250 price point and I will link to the website down below as well as linking to the company that gave me this for beta test and review of pre-launch labs so please go ahead and look them up for pre-launch and go ahead and follow them on their social media twitter account down below so as always if you are not subscribed please subscribe and look out for more content like this.
thank you guys for watching.